Hey ladies and gents, uh, today we are going to be doing the acid mineral calcite test. So we have our, our two soil samples, we have our crime scene on the left and our suspect sample on the right. My assistant Bridget is going to be placing several drops of hydrochloric acid on each one and we're going to be observing the results. Remember, if we see a fizzing reaction that the soil sample is positive for calcite, if we do not see a fizzing reaction, the soil sample is negative for calcite. So Bridget, why don't you start with our crime scene sample? Just put it all over. A bit more. Get another dropper full, because there's a lot of soil. You notice that we took, a, or tried to get a good sample of all the different materials in the soil because you're never quite sure which ones are going to have calcite and which ones aren't. Okay. I'll just give it a little bit more since there's a lot of soil in there. Can you see it? What we're looking at. And ah, uh, look very closely. Fizzing! We do see fizzing. We see some fizzing around that kind of yellow chip, which I said before, I believed was eggshell. And that makes sense because eggshells are actually chemically identical to the mineral calcite. So because of the fizzing, you can see the little bubbling there, we can say that our crime scene sample is positive for the presence of calcite. All right, let's do the same thing with our Suspect sample. It's going just all over the place. A little bit more. Oh, uh, careful, you don't want to get the stopper, the dropper into the calcite or into the soil. And again. All right, good. That's pretty well saturated. And if we look closely, do you see any, see any fizzing there, Bridget? Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't see any either. So we can say for certain that our suspect sample is negative for calcite. So record that on your data sheets, and we will continue with some more chemical tests.